Moscow Police Detective Eric Chernus is with Idaho's Internet Crimes Against Children Unit. In his experience, there's not a stereotypical suspect profile. It has gone the whole gamut of rich to poor and young to old. It's important for us to keep our uh, open mind when we're doing these investigations and, and get our probable cause before we make an arrest. Among the thousands of cases he and his team have investigated, 44-year-old Michael Stewart arrested last August. Court records show he admitted to downloading the material and found it on the app Kick. Martin told investigators he was a member of several groups that shared child pornography on the app. He's now a registered sex offender on probation living in Lewiston. Another is 25-year-old Benjamin Martin. He was also arrested in August of 2020. Investigators say he admitted to looking at child pornography since he was 14 and primarily used his Xbox to view the images. Martin is also a registered sex offender on probation, currently living in Lewiston. There's quite a bit of potential danger out there. Idaho Attorney General Lawrence Wasden has a podcast on his office's website about ICAC. You know, even as investigators, we are doing the best we can to stay ahead of this. We have new apps. We have new websites that are popping up daily. Staying ahead is now a challenge because of the pandemic. The number of child abuse cases online have skyrocketed, and ICAC is swamped. There's about 16, 18 of us doing these active investigations full time, and then we have affiliates throughout other departments around the state. Uh, but really, it's an overwhelming number, so we're working through them as best we can, uh, but it's, it's become overwhelming, especially with the pandemic and the explosion in the number. One of their best defenses is to help parents, educators, and community members better understand this issue. Detective Chernus's number one tip have a good open line of communication with your child. It's out there. The kids know all about it. Oftentimes the parents don't know about it till it's too late or some kind of tragedy happens to them. There are some apps which allow the user to hide content. So even if parents are looking at their child's phone, they may not be able to see it. Oftentimes we get into a situation where the child, children, juvenile, teenager, uh, is threatened or extorted, and so they're fearful to report what happens, and then the abuse just keeps continuing on. He says signs of being extorted or abused will be behavioral changes. They'll stop going out and doing the social things they usually do because they're afraid of what might happen to them in public. They'll be more private than usual, which can be significant for a teenager. Their physical appearance may change. They may become seeming like depressed or, or standoffish, and that may be due to the threats that are happening to them. Detective Cherna says keep asking the questions, talk to their friends, and make yourself available.